Hey, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rachach Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Alright, this year is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And I'm um, coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai. Alright. And the name of this lesson is this world is going on collapse collapse. Alright? You people when I say you people I talk about you people in the world. Alright? All all you just all, all you're thinking is that all you really think this place go and go on. Listen to this listen. If you're into the scriptures and you stupid dumb dummy Christians also. All you're not into the scriptures either. Because if all you was into the scriptures, all you would have know that the scriptures talk about the end of the world. So all you would have be looking for the end of the world. You know all you're into, all you're into is glamour, going to church, the look uh, 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 how all you does look when all you're reaching church and, and um, so forth and so on. That is what all you're into. But if all you was into the scriptures, all you would have try and match up current events to 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 the Bible and see which part we is in prophecy. But the place where we is in prophecy is that they're getting ready to implement a microchip one and um they're getting ready to destroy America. Alright, and our World War Three. That is where we is in prophecy as pertaining to the destruction of this place or the end of the world or judgment day. We in the time of judgment day. Okay? So I'm gonna play this video. It almost all is a video from an RT and it's a question mark. World looking to the dollarize. It's like a question mark. Because Peter Schiff on the other um it have a uh, lady talking to two men on a screen. This is George I don't know his name, eh? It's George Galloway, I think. And then Peter Schiff on the other screen. So listen to the video and I'll get some scriptures. But I'll get the scriptures in my Bible. Um yeah, so let me play it the leaders in the world that they cannot accept this swaggering cowboy uh, unilateralism uh, of uh, Donald Trump uh, he wants to be a bull in a China shop but we all live in that China shop and we're not prepared to see it trashed and destroyed uh, on his whim so he's seeing his Trump operating like a bull in a China shop but the China shop is the world and Trump Governing the world, well, you know, govern the world. Really, actually, is the elites who have Trump in the back pocket. They govern the world. Trump is just a puppet, but um, Trump is a madman. <laughs> yeah, it's not the guy I think he does be saying that doing it goes. This, you know, might hear basically saying the things Trump doing. Will it will have an effect? It will lead to nations shooting bombs on each other. The way we operate it. All right. The only caveat I'd enter, Anya, is the belligerence that he is displaying in New York this week against Iran is almost word for word the same kind of belligerence that he displayed last year at the same time against North Korea. And now it's all Chairman Kim this and Chairman Kim that. The rocket man uh, became a kind of teddy bear. Who knows, uh, maybe Rouhani and other Iranian leaders will have the same image in Donald Trump's eyes next year. That's a very interesting... And I will say no. I will say no. So what he's saying is that the way how last year he used to be talking about um, <coughs> Donald Trump used to be talking about Kim Jong Un. This year he talking about Kim Jong Un as a friend. So he's saying that 
maybe next year are we against the iranians iranians maybe next year um he trump and the iranians will be good no nah. <coughs> trump and the um <coughs> north koreans ain't good they ain't good they're not good because trump does do what he wants Feel them, you feel them other nations trust Donald Trump, trust America. Everybody know America is a devil. Alright? This is um Job 20 verse 4. Knowest not those knowest thou not this of all since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. The triumphant of the wicked. The wicked is this guy here. Alright, because I believe he's an Edomite. Who knows? He might. Who knows? You never know. He might be a Jake. But I will go with the fact that he's an Edom. Well, with, with our first, first face value that he's an Edomite. Alright? And all his seed, people of his kind, they are Edomites. Okay, that is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, and the triumphant of them is short. Now, the triumphant, but even he's seeing that it's have a possibility that all that triumphant could come to an end. All right, and the people in this world do, do want to acknowledge that, and it, it, they will have no choice just now. Okay, look at what's going on over there. Venezuela. What going on over there in Venezuela? Venice, like my way, way I live in to, to the capital in Trinidad is like an hour drive away. Of the sea coast in a place called Sea, just to Venezuela is a shorter place, a shorter distance under by boat. Might take like a half an hour. So Venezuela is like right there. Close to Trinidad, right there. It's just like you take a boat, drive across the um, sea, reach Venezuela. So Venezuela, what going on over there? It ain't far from here, in Trinidad. You understand? Now, what going on over there? Going on come here just now. It's going on come here just now, and you people ain't realize that. Down here in Trinidad, and um. The fact that all is still having a good old jolly old time in uh, um, this system, all you don't understand what times you live in and you live in the last days. Alright? It's the last days. Things will not, things is about to get tough, things is about to get hard. There's no time to freaking enjoy life. This, not, this was never a place set up for me to enjoy life. Because the wicked is ruling. Alright? Job 9.24 The triumphant of the wicked is short, right? This Job 9.24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the champ and the triumphant of the wicked is short. And Job said the earth given into the hand of the wicked. So, the rulership of the wicked going to get cut short and the, and the wicked ruling the earth right now. So, that whole rulership that I have over the earth, it going to get cut short. All the joy that I have going to get cut short. Alright? So, all you're trying to be one with this system is not going on work is a is a trap okay it's a trap and and then iran and america ain't going to get good they're not going to get good because the champ and the wicked is short and iran is set to come up against america russia is set to come up against america all these other nations are set to come up against America. Okay? Who have nuclear capability. So, don't get twisted and feel that Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un, 
and America are good. They're not good. They're not good. But Trump is a madman. <laughs> Let me play the video. Point to raise Georgia. Peter, what is your reaction to news that the European Union now plans to set up this new payment system allowing EU countries to continue to trade with Iran? Listen to the question she asked her. They set up a new payment system allowing EU countries, EU countries. <coughs> now, if you look at a list of EU countries, and a list of NATO countries, it's like the same damn thing. It doesn't have no vast difference, the EU countries and the NATO countries. Hold on. Yeah, it 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 hardly really have a difference between EU countries and NATO countries. All right. So it 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 America is a part of NATO. So if if America and Iran do deal and European Union and Iran dealing, because I think. Britain is a part is Britain is a part of the NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization to combat the Russia, the Soviet Union in nineteen forty nine that was formed. And EU and if this if EU still want to deal with Iran and America don't deal with Iran, see what Trump you the woman the going and say Trump looking for Iran to um, EU to stop deal with Iran. Well, then that would dismantle NATO because plenty of the countries in NATO are in the EU. You understand? Thus fulfilling the scripture. Alright? So I will play the video and then I will get the scripture. I'm going to play it. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I think the world is in the process of trying to de-dollarize and trying to get themselves in a situation where... Yeah, we say the world is in a process of trying to de-dollarize. To do away with the dollar. Alright? To do away with the dollar. The world is in a process. So when they do away with the dollar, is to bring a microchip in place. That is what it is for. To set up. Let me look up what the dollarization is. I want to look it up on this tab. Let's see. Alright. I kind of all over the place, but it's plenty news now. Okay. Dollarization. Um, it's not. Eh? This, I just want to get the. I just want to get the meaning. De facto, unofficial de dollarization defined as. The holding by residents of assets and liabilities denominated in a foreign currency is a policy concerning in an increasing number of developing economies. Well, basically, they want to do away with the currency. All right. They want to do away with the, the financial way how they're doing things right now to the dollar rise to find out a new way of currency all right to find a new way of currency so that is what is either my poor peter chef now say they find a new way of currency and that will be the chip it will be the chip the microchip it's in far away Okay, and when that microchip comes, it have 
chaos to come with it. You people won't be able to fucking have the benefits, so called benefits, of the society no more. Right? Revelation 3 verse 10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is when they're bringing that ship with farming, the, the, the farming, the race wars, alright? The pestilences, the different diseases, the so called white man go and release on the earth. That is the hour of temptation because they go have the chip right in front of your face, tempting you to take it. But if any man take that, that microchip, most I say he's going and destroy them. When you read in Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9 and 10, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead, the mark, which is the microchip, or in his hand, this new rapper the other day, I don't even know the fuck he is, Kid B U U, Kid Boo. So I went and looked him up to see if he have any relevance. Well, people know him. He get, get microchip the other day. And this is what Guan Guan with you. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Mosai, which is poured out with all mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Okay? Yeah, 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 take the chip. That is what going on, go on with you, and the our temptation. Is is that is that something tempting you to take? Some tempting you to go against God in that time when you're being tempted is when they present that ship because they're going to present that ship after they bring all this chaos for as a way out of the chaos, as a way back to a stable life. All right. So that is what this either might now say the world look into what T dollar rise. So I'm gonna continue to play the video. The U.S. is not in a position to weaponize the U.S. dollar, and I think you know all of this is going to backfire. You see, the U.S. is not in a position to weaponize it to to make people come back into into um, using the U.S. because a lot of nations. Um, fleeing the U.S. dollar. All right, they're fleeing the U.S. dollar and they're going and using a new form of currency. All right, shrinking the power of the dollar. Okay. And when that happens, it will crash the economy. And when the economy crash, it will fucking come up. They will come up with the form of a microchip. On the United States, you know, my biggest problem with what uh, the president said yesterday was his exaggerating his accomplishments and the strength of the U.S. economy. You know, to quote uh, President Trump while he was still a candidate, uh, the U.S. economy is a big, fat, ugly bubble. What's really growing is the... Yeah, the U.S. economy is a big... This is on RT News Russia today. A big, fat, ugly bubble. It's just blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And a bubble is not a rock, or a bubble is not a piece of steel. You can take a little pin and chuck a bubble, it bursts. And that is the economy where you people so know and love. You could go in Ruby Tuesdays, TGI Fridays, Kentucky Fried Chicken, um, down here is a little royal castle. When you stay here, your white castle, you have your McDonald's, your Burger King's. You have your Outback Steakhouse restaurant, you have all these different fancy restaurants. On top of that, you have um, your, your, your nice vehicles, your holidays, your trips that you like to go on, your nice jobs. All of that go and come to an end. And I know nobody does, doesn't like to hear it, but it's the truth. It is not going to last forever. You people had a notion that it would have last forever, it is not. 
okay it is not size and the cost of the federal government it's spending more than ever it's borrowing more than ever uh, so are u.s individuals and corporations i think the economy is headed to a massive recession in fact uh, autos and homes are already rolling over all the stocks in those sectors are deep in bear market territory so i think it's only a matter of time before the overall economy rolls over and as trump likes to have things big i think we could experience the biggest recession ever now that's maybe not uh, what Trump wanted, but unfortunately, that's what he's going to get. All right, so you're not sounding too optimistic there, Peter. George, is it wise for Trump to pressure the EU to break away from Iran? I mean, is that realistic? No, they're not going to do it. Uh, it is quite a. You know, is it, is it right for. She asked the question Is it right for Trump to pressure the EU to break away from Iran? Is it too optimistic? Peter George, I think his name is. This one here. So it's Peter Schiff on the other side, and this is Peter George. He said, No, they're not going to do it. I go and look up NATO nations and EU nations on my tablet, right? NATO members. EU members and let me see how much members need to have and if this similar to EU all right um, need two member states yes no eh? Are you here, right? Right, need two member states again it here. The member states of NATO are Albania, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary. This is NATO. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, right? Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Netherlands, Norway, Poland. That is now, but when it did now start in 1949, the nations were Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, UK, US. Alright, these other nations join on as time go on trying to offset prophecy, but this is the beast which was formed. Now, Italy, Latvia are going back to all the member states now. Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Turkey, United Kingdom, and the United States. EU members. Let me see if the if the if if it are EU members we need to. Because America is not part of the EU, because it's the European Union, and America is not part of Europe. America is a part of NATO. Okay. So now this tablet decides now to play the fool, Satan. Now this tablet decide to play the fool. No. I don't understand what's going on here. Really here, right? That's not right. Eh? Just bear with me a little bit. Just look. Just so the, the um, internet given trouble. Right, I get back on track here. Right. Right, so let me, let me see. Austria, countries in the European Union. Belgium, same countries where you need to. Plenty, same, two, like two countries where you need to. Two countries in the EU. Bulgaria, I believe them are part of NATO. Too. Croatia, NATO. But let me just say this. 
United Kingdom, Spain, Portugal, all of these countries are part of NATO, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Czech Republic, Denmark, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, all these countries are also a part of the NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So Trump aggravating the EU, he aggravating also NATO members. So <laughs> that will that will that will that will in turn lead to the prophecy. I will in turn lead to the prophecy. I'm gonna get the prophecy. I'm gonna get the prophecy. And it gonna cause a whole um, big ordeal for 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 nations to leave the dollar, and it gonna cause America because when nations leave the dollar, America gonna turn to, to fight. To, to, Fuck. That is the former um, making money. That is the former having all nations under them. The dollar. They will want to fight. Um, these over there, verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread with thee have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Alright? They lay that wound. The men who eat your bread with you, because all your form of league and allegiance, they turn it on your fucking ass. And they will turn. Isaiah 19 verse 9 verse 2. Isaiah 19 verse 2. I will set and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. This is the modern day Egyptians, the Edomites, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Matthew chapter 12, verse 26, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? This is Revelation chapter 17, and verse Verse, um, verse 16 And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God the Most High had put it in, in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast. Until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest, the whore, is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, which is America, and America is collapsing. And the nations which was in which was which was in league with America, plenty NATO nations are plenty EU nations. America is a part of NATO. If them do leave from um dealing with iran trump go and be upset and it going on fucking escalate it is going to escalate all right so this place done by jewel in the crown of international diplomacy and there haven't been many jewels over recent years it was a proposal which did deal with the problem that had been identified and it was working in a pristine way uh, no one has claimed that iran has broken in any way the terms of this agreement and to try and strong arm uh, the europeans into breaking it isn't going to work all that's going to happen is a wider and wider gap uh, appearing between other countries and the united states so uh, america she want to read in the bible see what the scriptures say this man now, Peter George now, confirm it. It going to have a wider and wider gap between America and its allies. Because America do have the same power as before it has fallen. Nations leaving the dollar and going and figuring out a new form of currency. Which the ultimate currency will be the microchip. Because that is how they want, that is what the elites want. But, this place going to be destroyed. 
I didn't go and get around that. That is a fact. Alright? I must see if I can play out some more closer. In isolationism uh, may well be the result, except the speech was a tour de farce, wasn't it? Not a tour de force, because as well as saying that he was going to put America first and not interfere in other people's uh, business, he's busily threatening Germany uh, with condign punishment, uh, even if it's only the vituperative kind, for exercising its sovereign right to buy its uh, energy from whomsoever it likes. So it's American isolationism when it suits, and it's American hegemony when that suits. And people are not going to live with that double standard. Peter, you mentioned Trump's speech yesterday, and for us, the team here at In Question, one moment yeah, stood out very I feel I will close it off there. America is finished. And I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Rukhakwadash. Shalom, hopefully you've been edified.